Hello. It looks like I'm going to be by myself tonight. <laughs> so to start off the stream like usual, um, let's go through um, the new subscribers for the past few days. We've got Magenta Mapping Animation. And then our other new subscriber is ba -ba 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 -ba. Silver Moons. Welcome both of you to the channel. I hope you guys enjoy. And um, actually, um, there were two more that for some reason Streamlabs just did not detect last week. So we'll be going through over them too as well. Um, first we have, um, Raphael Webb King, and then our other one that was missed from last week is, is, ah, there we go, <laughs> Cleo B. I think that's how we say it. <laughs> So I hope everyone's week has been good. It feels like it just kind of passed by for me. Um, I don't know if you guys saw on Twitter, but I recently just posted a new screenshot of um, a new public screenshot of like the current project I'm working on. Um, I don't know if I've said it out loud yet, but it is called Lost Cartridge Cold Read. It is going to be part of an anthology sort of series. Um, so um, the games themselves, they can be played individually and um, with only just like one big overarching theme gonna happen. And I, I have plans to get a little more crazy with it. It, it. Some may not even be built in the same engine. All of them will be horror games though. Um, this first one is about, um, about a guy in a library during a blizzard. Nothing bad can happen in that scenario. Absolutely nothing. And I'm totally not going to make things go more crazy because I'm more comfortable doing messed up deaths to a grown ass adult than a child. That would be silly. I am worried that my dog screaming downstairs is coming over the mic somehow. She um, is a husky, so they're just naturally screamers, but we're always afraid that um, she, people are going to think we're abusing our dog, but like, no, she's just a husky. All they know what to do is scream. 
they are made of screaming. If they don't scream on occasion, then they just kind of blow up, I think. I have never seen a quiet husky. Like, that one video of huskies, of that one husky that just starts absolutely, like, whale screaming. That's just the husky experience. They're like that. Up oh, there she goes again. It's okay when it's like far away from me, but frankly, I wouldn't want to. I don't like doing that when she's up here. I live in like a bit of like an attic situation, so like I don't have a door between me and the rest of the house. So she could reasonably just come up here at any time and start screaming. She is old though, so it may take her some time to get up the stairs. She will be screaming her entire way up the stairs though. 100%. But um, with that... Pew 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 pew! Pew 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 pew! We don't have- we only have technically one watching right now. Hello! I don't know if I want to wait for more people to get started. Because it's easier to do this when I'm playing to an audience. I have a free monitor set up. I have um, stuff with my webcam and like all the streaming stuff on my middle monitor. So me looking right to left like this is literally just me looking between both of my like my um, side monitors. Even though I actually mostly use my leftmost monitor as my main one. I'm just checking to see. Um, things. So Steen normally is here as like one of my like friends who play with me and it, I will admit it's easier for me to like bounce off of people when like I have like a person like I can actually like hear with me but um <laughs> she's got stuff to do tonight and um Ellie she can't come because um she's got like learning stuff to do. Not like life lessons, but like um, getting master degree stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's, you know what, let's get started. Um, let's, let's go to the live feed. Let's go. What a what a Yeah, we in. <laughs> Now I just gotta... Actually run the ISO file, that would be... That'd be helpful. And we're gonna play the opening again. Because I love pre-rendered graphics. They are good. I wish I could be pre-rendered. Okay, here we go. We got the opening.
I know this opening so much just because um, when you listen to this on the soundtrack, it has all the dialogue. There is no dialogueless version of it that I know of. It's it's just all mixed together. Pew. And um, from those of you who remember last time, this is what happened last week. We beat the game as Jennifer. And she ended up, she, the 15-year-old girl, ended up with her um, 27-year-old boyfriend. In my timeline, he's in jail now. I love how my model just freaks out whenever I just scratch my face. It's just... It's fair. Oh, when I do it on purpose, it doesn't happen. I really should go on like a week long bender of following tutorials on how to get better at art because like I have a style but like I feel like I definitely need and I only bring this up because I just I love the old school PS1 style so much especially with pre-rendered cutscenes and um the class I took in college on, like, the beginning of 3D art, it didn't really help much, I don't think. I feel like there's a lot better ways to learn. But, um, once again, we're gonna be starting a brand new game. But this time, it's only gonna be slightly different. And by slightly different, I mean the tone of the story is going to be... It's not the same thing as, like, Jennifer's story, just from a different angle. It literally is the protagonist swap with, um, different puzzles and, like, different, like, accomplices. It's pretty neat. And if you... And if this is, um, your first time and you didn't see last week's stream... Um, you don't need to know anything. In fact, odds are, um, actually, I don't know the odds, but I'll, I'll go over once again how you, um, do the different, the different, um, routes, because it is still super weird. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. A giant pair of scissors on the desk. These are a replica of the scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower case. These are like the weapon he used to slash up his... victims. I like to just not press the A button because it's it's kind of silly that it just stops. <laughs> There's a faint smell of ammonia. Once the, like how I used last week, um, I might show it off again, but that's just a hint for what you can do in actual chapter one. The clock tower murders. The mass murder of over 10 victims in this case. How intriguing. Jennifer Simpson, only one of two survivors. I have to get information out of her for future profiling materials. 1990s were crazy. My laboratory. They, they have been doing mostly criminal psychology research. Hmm, the staff is still here. So, once again, if you were here last week, the prologue is going to be basically the same, except for, like, one tiny thing. And it's so silly, that's how you choose um, your different story route. So, once again, we have to examine literally everything in this office. 
before we're allowed to leave because this is how exposition works. Um, this, the prologue is like the worst part, but the problem is um, it's literally where you choose what route you're going. <laughs> It also is silly, you have to like look at everything, but like stuff like talking to people, forgetting like lore, um, you have to like do it more than once. It's like, shouldn't it be one and done? And not everything needs to be examined. Like you don't have to look at Beth's stuffed animal on her computer, you don't have to look at Helen's desk, you just have to look at the statue, talk to Beth twice, look at the mask, talk to that one guy like one of the few characters that literally can't die in the game and then go through Harris's desk which is in this back corner and it's it is bad like that is a silly way to like start off the game it's very it's not a good paced thing it's very boring especially when you just are stuck with like the fax machine in the background but I accept the slow start. I accept this. And I've done it so much that it's just kind of instinct. Professor, a newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? Nope, we gotta talk to him again. It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? Her I guess they want to sensationalize the scissor man who doesn't really even exist. Scissor man, it'd be cool if he were real. Me every day. That's the joke. Well, goodbye, Danny. So, so those of you who were once again here last year, no, last year, <laughs> um, last week. We can't actually walk around the whole office. We are, it is um, it's just straight line bullshit. So ha talking to Harris is actually what determines our route. He will tell us the newspaper reporter is looking for us on the first floor. Now we just will never talk to him. If we talk to him twice, we play as Jennifer. If we talk to him once, we're going to be doing the route we're doing this week, which, like, it would be a cool, like, easter egg thing, but when it's your main method of choosing which story halves you're doing, it's really weird. <laughs> Especially when- motherfucker. Especially when, like, um, it's like the- literally the two different halves of the game. And there are other, like, times where you're giving, like, a straight yes or no option of, like, choosing, like, which chapter you want to do. But, um, not this. Now, there is a hint system in the game that you can only access if you're on the main menu or if you've died. And, um, the very first hint you can get, if you, like, look at it, is just about, um, ha um, talking to Harris. I think it's... I don't think it says it straight up that it's about talking to Harris. I'm pretty sure it's about um, just like saying like, oh, there's a character you can talk to that determines um, which who you're playing as. But like, it's, it's lame. It would be cool if it was like a secret thing that, like determined, not like an ending thing, but like, I don't know. Like, I love Clock Tower. I love this series, but the thing about when you love something like this, you you are very hyper aware of its flaws. But even with its flaws, it makes the good things just seem even better. Like, any, like, so many horror fans of, like, old school horror can, like, go off about, like, Silent Hill and Resident Evil. And because they are, like, wonderful games, there's so many good things. And I've noticed people talking more about Clock Tower when people should. But this is like something for a long time that has just been, I didn't know many people who knew about it. And so I have an opportunity to gush about it. So this very much is like a series that's super close to my heart. 
like um people generally agree that trick or treat is a very fun like halloween spooky horror movie but like it's not like the big thing it's only getting really big right now through spirit halloween i've noticed but um that movie is like my baby i consider that little shit sam my son biologically somehow i don't know how it works but that's biologically my son I can tell because we have the same first name. I'm a Sam. He's a Sam. He has to be my kid. That's how it works. I know I'm not paying attention to the dialogue, and I apologize. It's just that this prologue is boring, and it's just basically TLDR. Um, ooh, we don't believe in Scissor Man, but this survivor of the murder case says a monster with scissors killed people and they just keep going over that over and over and Barton's a dick who doesn't re respect mental health <laughs> and then oh no there's a random child that just appeared out of nowhere who could that be who could that be I love wasting time. I have ADHD. I'm so great at it. I wonder. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there's other like ways of like getting rid of scissor man that like i haven't ever used all my time playing this game that's just because there's so many ways of getting rid of him okay so once again for the people of last week this is where we make the decision of where we want chapter two to happen um this time we are going to be doing the other location we are going to be going to the butler's house oh i'm sorry i need to look at the statue Not everything needs to be separated. Sometimes you could just have a cutscene. You could see the mouse button like pulsating with uh, me like tapping the controller. So you can tell when I just am impatient. It is simple to just to see whenever I'm like Okay, okay, okay. To the therapy room where we're going to meet a totally innocent little boy. He didn't do anything to us last week. Nothing happened. Edward, I thought he completely lost all his memory from the shock. Does he remember his name? No, I called him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. Now since it's the first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. Now I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. Er, uh, yes. <laughs> that's... that's... Well then, let's get started. You know I want to be a voice actor at one point. Didn't... You said... 
content okay yep here we are now officially in the new content we did it folks and it's the relatable content of your hard drive crashing now we're the horror is real <laughs> I hope I can get it fixed sometime today otherwise I won't get my dissertation done on time don't worry when Danny gets back I'm sure he'll be able to help you you're probably right in the meantime I'm going to step out for a bit would you ask Danny for me please sure see you later Hard drives crashing is relatable content. Where should I go, period? I love this game. Let's check on our kid. Ba 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 child. Jennifer's gone somewhere. I wonder if she's found a boyfriend. And hopefully he isn't 27. Norway International Hotel. Edward and his guardian are staying here. They're here. Helen <laughs> I was like, oh fuck um, any results from Professor Barton's therapy no but we can't give up a f fucking shit K yes it's not consistent whether or not you have to press a like I am you can see my mouse cursor and how I'm not pressing anything it's either too fast or too slow I love this game to pieces <laughs> The police. It's our friend. Resident Evil. My fucking time run off. Barry from Resident Evil. And I'm not kidding. It's the same voice actor. Well, hey, Teach. Got some new info? No. Have you got any leads? Nope. Nothing. That old geezer of yours, he ain't coming clean. Do you mean Professor Barton? Yeah, that's him. But there ain't nothing straight of... But, well, I'm pretty sure, like, therapists aren't allowed to tell the... and uh, You can't just, like, be a therapist and tell people about your patient, I don't think. But, um, yeah, in this route, we're talking more about how Jennifer is absolutely traumatized and has nightmares. And it's just the adults watching being like, oh, shit. Well, time to fix hard drive. Hi, right, Danny. Oh, Miss Maxwell, I replaced your hard drive. Thanks, that's a big help. I'm going down to the lounge for a short nap. What are you going to do? Well, I'll be going home soon. Oh, okay. Well, no need to lock up. Okay. We in it now, fellas. We're in it here, gamers. And as you can see, we changed outfits because I have the um, secret costume cheat code on, baby. Just like last week. The best part of having a, like a VTuber model is how um, people can just see how much um, I have wiggles in real life. When I went to go see Sonic 2... Um, spoilers for the end of Sonic 2, but... Um, I went to see it with Ellie, and um, 
in the post credit scene when I saw Shadow, I got so excited I started slapping her leg very hard to the point where it got very red. <laughs> that was a big oops. <laughs> Is that you, Baker? Oh, it's you, Helen. Baker's still in the lab. Rose, are you seeing Baker here again? Yeah, sort of. Well, no matter how late it is, remember, don't use the university as a motel. So, um, I don't think this is... Let me sleep a little longer until Baker comes. So, I think we have to turn off the light. Or, um, we have to go to this bed. I think it's about time for a nap. Would you turn off the light, please? I can't sleep with it on. Girl, why are you up? Why is it on then? Rose, and um... You may be wondering, who the fuck is Rose? She was the bathroom corpse from last week. She was still here pulling that shit in the alternate timeline. I'll take a quick cat nap then, work on my... Wrong voice. Or is it? I can't even remember what voice I'm using at any time. Well, end of chapter, everyone. We got some sleep. We got sleepy bitch disease. Okay. So while we hear the door knocking right now, I want to talk about an old video game rumor about this game. So... There used to be a rumor online about um, another secret route in the game, a f secret third route that you could only access at this point. It said after you get all of the endings and all of the different scenarios um, and you get to the scene again, the camera angle will actually show the window outside. And you, if you click that, you will actually unlock the scissor man scenario in which the goal of it is to actually kill everyone this is of course completely not true but it was i'm pretty sure it's not in game facts anymore but it was in like the cheats back in the day but um as you can see there you literally can't see the window you can't click on it the camera angle would not allow that so um I know, just like it, it's like an old myth that people don't talk about clock towers, they don't talk about that old myth. It's a man. Hell, <laughs> well, JK, it's a corpse. So, Helen's scenario is definitely a bit more difficult than Jennifer's. I think, in my opinion, there's a lot more scenarios, I believe, where you start out in more general danger. But, um, let's use all of our various ways to beat up a child, because we have confirmation that this is a ten-year-old boy we're just beating the shit out of all the time. Girl boss. So, like with Jennifer's scenario last week, there is, um, an item we need to escape. And there's actually two of those. And another item that we won't need for this chapter, but we will need for the last chapter. I don't know why I came in here. But, um, nice little flavor text. Like, showing that, like, Rose has been, she's been using this place a lot just to, um, get dick at work. I mean, good for her. I mean, bad for her tonight, but good for her before then. Technically inappropriate, but I'm not here to tell you how, to, how you use your workplace. Now, will we get... My fav- 
my cutscene again, please? Oh, boo. Oh, well. So, um, first thing we'll need is completely unseen over here. <laughs> because, um, this game is very much, um, supposed to be click everything kind of game. But still, it's kind of annoying. You can't see. That's what you need. <laughs> and, uh, I can't actually... I don't know if I remember where the second item we need is. I know where um, the last chapter item, like, to get the best ending we need is. But, um... I don't think I remember where the key is. And uh, I don't think we can get the funny um, fax message again. Because I'm pretty sure that only happens with Jennifer. Nope, we need third locker. Wait, nope, that's Beth. Flashlight, baby. And I think Sister Man can pop out. Oh! Oh! Helen can get the fax! Now we have to wait for it to print. The whole time we have to wait. So good. Let's see what it is. <laughs> huh. That's a solid huh moment. you Norway police oh yeah, I can call again yay I didn't know you could do this. This is nice. Uh, okay. I wouldn't. It is cool to know that that one phone works. But yeah, you're not supposed to hang up. Oh yeah, it is absolutely something. Like, th the text is very bizarre. Just like how when I was doing like my silly voice acting earlier, just how it... It cuts off in very strange places. I probably shouldn't have gone back downstairs. <gasps> oh, yeah, here's the key. But, um, there's something else we can find. Like, what's, what's that dripping? It's 
Spooky. Up. Oh boy, he back. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. So I think this time I'm gonna use this couch. Actually, hold on. Is he wearing black? Does he... No, I don't think he has an alternate color too, does he? Or if I, is my memory just... Anyway, before we... We have everything we need to go, but I still want to, um... I want to get, um, the alternate place where we can find Rose's body. Office key, baby. Nope, nope, that's... So now we have three corpses in the building. This is what we get for leaving her alone. I don't know what she's impaled with, because I know the, um... The scissor replicas are what Scissor Manor is using right now. But, um, anyway, we now have everything we need to just get out of here. I just wanted to show that, um, if you don't go into the bathrooms, you will find Rose's body here. I might just, um, the elevator is really good for fast travel between the floors, but, like, there's always a chance of Scissor Man coming out of them. So, it's just faster to just use stairs. So, we've got, um, pliers, flashlight, and storage key. Get everything we need to just get out of here. Although, oh, sometimes if you click on that, he'll just pop out. So we gotta use the pliers on some wire around this knob. And we got to use zip. Run that little shit over. And 
we did it. <laughs> Game over. That's chapter one. What in the fuck is going on? Like, I'm pretty sure it's not hell. So I can only assume it's what in the fuck. Another mass murder. This um, office kind of sucks for not having security cameras. I just assume that everyone else really sucks at running away. Because it's really easy to fight Scissor Man. You just gotta throw anything. Like, it gets ridiculous if we get to, like, chapter two. Actually, yeah, act chapter two is when we can just start throwing very ridiculous things that probably shouldn't stop him. And let's get get out of here. We must find a clue about Skizzer Man. Hooray, we can go back to work. Solved like wrapped up the murder of like three people pretty fast. Can we use the room now? Yes, but we couldn't get in all morning because of the investigation. By the way, Beth, I'd like to take a look at the statue. You mean the one they found at the scene of the clock tower murders? Right, I think Professor Barton had it. So, like, um, from the very beginning for what we chose in the prologue, um, if we forget what we chose, we will get the worst ending. But, um, I know my plans for the, e the evening. I know I want to take us to the butler house. So we're going to go see... Rick from Rick and Morty. I haven't seen that show since college. All I know is apparently um I've heard he for the show last left him he was miserable and um upset with his life choices, which Yeah, that sounds good. Um so now I think we gotta go to the police station. Yeah, we love that. Remember what you your own decisions. Rick, that sounds familiar. I think I saw him in Fortnite. Yeah, he's the old geezer. The Barrows family of the Clock Tower case? That would mean he... Yeah, he quit ten years ago before it all happened. I went to see him once, but he didn't know anything about the case. But anyway, what about him? Well, Professor Barton may have given the statue to him. The statue? What for? That statue might just might be the key to the secret of Scissor Man. I think Professor Barton wanted him to look at it. Yeah. I see. And since you believe in the scissor man, you want to get your hands on it too. <laughs> <laughs> I want scissor man in clock tower. Scissor man in clock I want scissor man in Fortnite. He should be in Fortnite. Just the PlayStation 1 model.
So if we say no, we're getting the worst ending, but we're saying yes. Would you? Sure, I'll go now. Please, be careful. I'm going to take a nice sip of my drink because my throat is getting hurty. Alright, let's get ready for some Resident Evil Berry action. This man should have been dead by daylight. Yeah, if you know something, Gramps, tell me. Right now I'm looking for a clue. Any clue. Hmm. Mr. Gops, you know of a castle called Barrow's Castle? Barrow's Castle? Yes, it is a castle in England. Then before the Barrow's family moved. Yes, that is what I've heard over 80 years ago. So what's up with the castle? A monster was once born there that terrorized the local children. How's that? That'd be Scissorman. I always thought it a fairy tale. Well, what happened to the monster? He was killed by his father. His father was the head of the household of the 13th generation of Barrows. So the old man killed his own son. <laughs> Turning into Macho Man. Listen, Gramps, do you know where the castle is? Give me a moment, please. I am sure that somewhere there is. Bork. Bork, bork. Bork. Oh, I just noticed our, our new outfit for this chapter. No Barrow's family is fuck. Is fucked. But so um if we did this chapter in Jennifer's scenario last week, um how um Rick would have died would have been different. Um He would have instead um gotten crushed by um the chandelier in the living room. And, of course, we would be playing as Gots, we'd be playing as, um, pedophile no one. So, uh, this room is a bit of a trap. It's one of the ways to avoid Scissor Man, but, as you can see, there is a box. We could hide in a box last chapter, but if we hide in that box, it is very obvious we are hiding in that box. So he will stab through the box. Yeah, we're going to hear a lot of really good, um, Resident Evil, um, Jill Sandwich lines. There's some detergent on the shelf. This could be used to blind someone. This is everyone's first thought. So it is kind of, the dog will be important later in this chapter, but, um, if you did the Jennifer route, you'd be like, what do you mean the dog's acting weird? We got a tub, a toilet. It's always time. So we have um, two goals here. 
we got to find out where the Barrow's Castle is in England. And we got to find the statue, which is the whole reason why we came here. But luckily, I know everything, maybe. Perhaps. Balls. Nick's signature's at the bottom of this painting. That old geezer was pretty good. Actually, fuck it. I'm going to summon Scissor Man right now for this um, ominous panel on the floor. <laughs> There's so many possible places to just pop out. It's so funny. It's like you think like, oh, that's probably like a helpful passageway. Nope, Scissor Man. You just have Scissor Man. That's the only option. We love the wood paneled walls. Let me just um, show what other great thing we can just throw at Scissor Man. Because it is very good to just throw things. Like a blanket. Like if you get killed by Scissor Man, it's very much on you, I believe. He, Scissorman does canonically have teleportation powers, so he may have, maybe he just saw us doing it and was like, I'm gonna pop out from underneath there. I know you're, the game, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot he could do that. <laughs> But thankfully, we have the infinite door. I clicked on the wall in accident. My B. And eh, fuck it. I'll show you what happens when you die um, via box. Because this is one of the fake hiding places where you just die from using it. Which I find very funny. <laughs> oh yeah, I think now I can show like this is the hints. I don't have them all locked because they're just they're just put in random ass places, but like, cool, this item is important. They're really unhelpful hints, but um, let's continue onward. And I'll take another sippy sip. I feel like it would be wiser to just smack him over the head with two by four, but like you do, you junior ins assistant inspector got. I wish there was more better lighting where we could see him in his um swanky jacket more. I wish I could read to see, understand what it says. Can I turn the lights in this room? Oh, that light switch just don't work. Cool. 
the other room light I turn on though, so maybe that one. Yeah. Show me the jacket. Yeah, I can't read. <laughs> Well, he's kind of like, um, he's not an undead monster, but he is, um, a superhuman being made from unholy rituals. So, I don't know. The canon thing that happened to this scissor man in the previous game was we did burn him alive while he was a fat job to hub baby. So, pick one. Oh yeah, this is never fucking explained why there's just a random ass cursed mask. It's very much a this might as well be happening thing. But now if we examine the ground... Oh, wait. I might be thinking of doing this in the Jennifer scenario. You have to do that when you play as Jennifer. <laughs> you have a gun, Gots. I'm pretty sure you have the best weapon. There's some garbage. Oh man, I'm trying to remember where you find the um, castle information in this one. Oh wait, I think it's a different painting that's upstairs. Because even though um, this one still is different between um, Jennifer and Helen, just for the sole purpose of um, it's still different. I know if you're running up these stairs, I think when getting chased, there is a chance you can trip and you have to do um, a button mash in order to um, not get um, impaled. It's not this painting. Just garbage. Is I'm pretty this is it where it is in Jennifer's scenario. A statue at least. There's a gown hanging inside. Will we get another one of my favorite cuts? Oh, it's locked. We get the scene. Yeah, baby. So there's the statue. I'm pretty sure that's the painting. I also I'm pretty sure that's just straight up Wiley e. Coyote right there. They did not care about copyright. Yeah, I swear Scissor Man is wearing a different outfit than usual. Can't wait to like when I do like the um quick cut of all this of figuring out like if I am just having a mass hallucination or not. Oh, 
Oh, you fuck up! Oh, here we go! Get the fuck up! Oh, I love it. <laughs> that... That was a good fall. I think I can, um, oh boo, I thought I can use like the pots and shit, but however, because we are in a 3D environment, we have the power of maneuvers. It really is that comic. The one thing I, I have to complain about this chapter is there's really not many, like, evasion points. Or at least ones I don't think I know about. Like, the library didn't have many either, but, like, I feel like it still had more, at least. I love this chase music. Like, I love the clock tower, like, chase music that's just, like, absolutely groovy. But then, meanwhile, in, like, when we get to Haunting Ground, they're just like, what if we make the chase music your actual fucking nightmare? Which I love. Like, it's great in the moment. And, um, oh, what am I saying? It makes great soundtrack listening to. I put on the soundtrack to Suspiria while cooking once with um, my friend Adam, and he was like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, it's my busy work music. <laughs> Just like, this gives me stress. How does this keep you calm? And I'm like, what do you mean? I'm very calm. Then again, when I'm working on stuff, I have to like send pictures to my friends to be like, hey, is this disturbing to look at and when I get the unanimous yes I know I'm doing something right I have trouble sometimes determining if it's just if I'm like either too silly because like you can get kind of like gross with the horror where it gets to it just rebounds to a point where it's like okay this is hilarious so it's good to have feedback for that kind of thing So, like, I understand that this game still might scare people, but... Oh, wait! Holy- I forgot! I set up my analog stick, so I no longer have to use the D-pad. This picture, it's a bit crooked. What? Something's written on the back. Yeah, we're going a lot faster now. We're at the location of the Barrow's Castle. You have confirmed the location of the Barrow's Castle. Now let's get the statue. It's about 30 centimeters tall, guys. What the fuck is this? Oh yeah, this has got to be the statue that, um, Teeth is talking about. You now have the statue. Oh, thank you. I, um... I love moths. And I also want to get across the fact that I may be frightening. <laughs> so you may be wondering, what was that thing? Why did we have to get soap? If you like animals and are very sensitive to things happening to animals, you may want to just tab to go to a different tab for a second. <laughs> it's not nothing graphic. It's just um we are going to be absolutely throwing um soap in the face of a dog. Stink oh, I guess he ate Rick. Sand. <laughs> I don't know why this 
game why the series just is okay with shit happening to animals sometimes but we did it I wonder if Goth was able to get the statue all right I'd better go to the police station Goss was then arrested for animal cruelty. Peach, it was my turn this time. What happened? You know what happened? Scissor Man attacked me. I ain't got no choice but to believe in him now. Yeah, especially after you like unload multiple rounds and like he just shrugs it off. Got the statue. What an intriguing case. I would love to see the scissor man. Huh? You'd regret it if you did, prof. Found a clue. You did? Yeah, there's a castle in England called the Barrows Castle. I now know where it is. Why would the GPS location of the Barrow's castle be in the back of the painting. I'm not questioning it. I, okay, technically I am, but like, I love the forethought of like, in case people want to find this accursed place, here it is in the back of a painting. So we're gonna go on the first play in the morning, so it's time to grab everybody for a vacation hopefully no one none of us get hashtag murdered 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 i heard that you're going to england i'm envious i wish i had applied for a passport too it's okay that means you're guaranteed to live Danny is like one of the very few characters that lives in every single ending. There's no time to go home. Fuck Jennifer. Is there anyone at the library, I guess? Fuck. Helen, I heard you're going to the Barrows Castle in England. Well, yes. We've decided to go with you, too. You have? This will be a good chance to see a castle. And it sounds like fun. Oh, I see. Yeah, it literally is just, we're going to a cursed castle. Hashtag vacay. I think Jennifer had said something about a newspaper reporter called Nolan. If you didn't play the previous scenario, you won't really know who the fuck this guy is. Excuse me, Miss uh, Helen Maxwell. You have good timing. How so? Well, we've learned a bit of information. That you are going to England. Did you find a lead? How did you find out? Well, it was easy. The assistant inspector in charge of the case is going to England. So it was a pretty easy guess. Well, I'll be. How about it? May we join you? I don't mind. But I don't know if Goths will like it. Hey, no problem. We're used to him yelling at us. Alright. See you at the airport first thing in the morning. We'll be there. See you in the morning. Let's see if we can actually get Tim to live this time. <laughs> oh fuck, I didn't want to go back. No. Okay, cool. I think... It's just... Oh wait, fuck, I forgot to go back to the hotel. Because we gotta pick up, um little urchin boy urchin
Urchin boy Edward. Come here. Miss Maxwell, I heard Scissor Man is back. You know about it already? I just saw it on the news. There was another moita. By the way, we are think actually wait, Scissorman didn't kill that guy. His dog ate him. <laughs> Hold up. By the way, we are thinking you should go back to the Granite Orphanage. I don't think Edward should be staying anywhere. That there might be danger. Oh, I see. We're going to England tomorrow. So I suppose this is goodbye. To England? Yes, we're going to a castle called the Barrows Castle. We are hoping to find some clues about Scissorman. May I go too? Edward, what are you- wait, hang on. Edward, what are you saying? If we don't do anything, I don't- I'm not, I don't remember any voices. Anyway, shit child wants to help us fight the murderer, I guess. Please, Kay. Well, alright then. We'll go to England to the scary castle. Please look after him, Mrs. Maxwell. Hmm. Well, alright. We'll be on the first flight tomorrow morning. We love pre-9-11 airlines. Okay, now can we can we leave? Can we go? Oh, thank you. I'm from Long Island, so it comes naturally. So we got the statue. We got a clue. It comes out sometimes with me. The Long Island accent came out of me growing up from doing, like, community theater. But, um, some words, it trips me up. Criminy, this is supposed to be serious business. I've contacted the police in England, and I've also arranged- Oh, we got a fucking rental car from the airport! Thank you, Gots. We're coming to get you, Scissorman. Hello, Aiden. Welcome to the stream. Oh yeah, so this takes place in Norway. Now we're going to England. This, I don't remember no one's voice. There's too many people who are just here to be killed. I'm gonna take a sip. I don't know if there's a killer out. It definitely seems like a sleep in the day. Um, move at night thing. Harris and Edward, Kay is looking over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. Oh no. Jennifer is missing too. Tell us your ideas, Aiden. The castle, hurry! I forget just how many people are here. There's a lot of people here. Ah! And they left us. Monsters. I... I don't know how Sister Man did that. But there's a lot of things that just sort of happen in Clock Tower that don't make sense. And we accept that. So, like with last chapter, there's a lot of things we can do in sort of a diff any order we want. But I'm just gonna go room from room. If we find Scissor Man, we find Scissor Man. <gasps> Can I make it happen this time? It didn't work last week. <gasps> oh 
Aww. Sometimes he can just cool a van through, um... <gasps> oh! He's coming! Oh lord, he coming! But we know his weakness now. He- Scissor Man kind of is. Um, Clock Tower Lore gets kind of crazy. Is, is he green? Why are you green? His color, they're still, I don't know if like, I am just for some reason not remembering the color of anything in this game. But, um, Clock Tower Lore gets a bit crazier. Even when we're not considering the book stuff. Gasp! Follow. Mouse. Rat. Hey, that's definitely rat size. Right. We'll have to like see him in like another room because there is like a green tinge to this room for some reason. I'm definitely going to have to like when I do like the quick the hypercut of this. Just make sure I'm not going crazy and then there will be a wonderful like note on screen that just says if I'm going crazy or not. Fucking Ben who said he would join me for this stream. And now it says he's playing Siege. This is the same person who abandoned me for Jeopardy. And then he left the stream last week after Chapter 2 because he wanted to watch streams of Better Call Saul. He didn't have to watch. I just knocked out my fucking character. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> oh my gosh, I... Yeah, he's not green here. It's still lighting. But <laughs> okay, you know what? I didn't get to show it last week, so this is one of my favorite ways to get rid of Scissor Man. You have to damage yourself to do it, but <laughs> it's very good. Go 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 go. He moves like molasses, but we still we want to get to our location. You have to swim back. <laughs> oh, jeez. He does it for the dramatics. If we did the library scenario of chapter two, there is a chance of him appearing and scaring you from inside a fish tank. It is fantastic, and I love it. Like, an, I don't play Fortnite. I'm sorry. Um. I do think Lily should have a gun. I should give her a gun. If I ever make a sequel to Lily's well, she will get a gun somehow. She deserves it. Like, I'm very, like... I'm not going to go into politics, but, um, TLDR, she's the only person who should have a gun. <laughs> Screw it. Oh, yeah, because we learned about the 13th century of Barrow's portrait of the... Oh, wait, it's not going to let us... It's only letting us look at that one, but, of course, that picture is specific. Yada, yada. Scissor Man is Santa. Lose while too fully strapped. <laughs> I actually, um, I have notes for, like, a possible sequel. Um, I would call it Lily's Home. 
because just like the original, it would have multiple meanings. A book is on the bed. Made of copper. And time for my favorite optional thing that nobody has to do. Scary hand! <laughs> But that's not over. There is no explanation for this. <laughs> there is a tattered note. A sp oh yeah, we have to do this in this route. A spell to exorcise the devil children is concealed in the fireplace. Quentin Barrows. Exercise the devil children. That's it. We gotta exercise. Well, we exercised one because in the first game, we grinded, we pushed off an eight-year-old off of a clock tower into the gears in which he was made into paste. Which is how you solve a problem. Sister Man just wants all of the camera tonight. But you know what? That just means we have more ways to just get rid of him. And it'll be funny. This map may, may seem a little confusing. There, there's a fucking bot in chat. Okay. Okay, they should, um... Okay, yep. <laughs> I, um, clicked... I, um, while that happened, I just... But it's nice to get popu- like, enough traffic now that I'm getting harassment. Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> it's the result of- I should have listened to 69mega.com, the most trustworthy of sources. Now let's go back to the kitchen. But hang on, is that, um... Oh well. E! Hair restore? Oh. He's actually after Jennifer, but... So, 
for those of you who are last here last week, um, you may remember that Harris was the traitor because <sighs> I once have to again have to go over this clock to official clock tower lore according to the art book. Scissor Man has the power to specifically mind control pedophiles, and Harris is a pedophile. But he's not in this sum um, route. He's not mind controlled. He's just a neutral party, but. If we use this key on the do on what you can use it on, you are locked into getting the second worst ending. <laughs> so it is 100% a trap. But once again. Oh yeah, um he just disappeared. <laughs> what happened to him? Who knows? He's the Void's problem now. And then we go back up, and then, oh! What was that sound? Now we can look past here, and... Tim lived! <laughs> Unlike last time. So far! <laughs> who cares? Nolan is... Nolan is a 27-year-old man who is trying to date a 15-year-old. <laughs> Give me your batteries. Oh. I guess I am. Um, I know I need to get batteries. Yeah, can I? Cause like that looks like his camera. And I'm pretty. Yeah, Helen's scenario I am a bit less familiar with, but luckily I remember enough that I'm pretty good at just like getting where I need to go. So, um, I am actually going to make a hard save for once because I want to show I don't like ha I like having the least amount of people dead at the end, but I do want to show one optional character death because it is kind of great. Take another sip. Oh my god, you're right. So we have a party member. Um, so, you know, I'm just gonna leave the room. <laughs> That's what happens if we try to take her with us. But what I'm, I'm gonna reload. I don't like Beth dying because. <laughs> I do like Beth, but that is, it's such a good way to go. Yellen. 
I forgot. Everybody says Helen as Helen. Helen. One look around. Gotta find it. <laughs> he really did. Okay, that's what we're supposed to do. This doesn't affect the ending or anything. This is... It is, um... Just because I like this. I like how she keeps, like, so many stuffed animals on her computer desk. She... I like how she is very, um, sympathetic to the idea of a hard drive crash. <laughs> I once had to make a game in like freshman year of college in three days because my hard drive crashed. It was in Game Maker and it was based off of like a tutorial thing and it's called Happy Bird Fun Time. And um, I had got barely gotten any sleep and um, it was kind of a shit post, but apparently it was great. <laughs> and to the point where um, my professor would show it to freshmen as an example game, but that means a bunch of freshmen knew me as the person who had a game that contained the line that said, I'm going to spread this curse like an STD. The curse was a bird that was constantly on fire and the goal of the game was to commit arson. Her name was Banana. It's better to have too many ideas than to have absolutely no idea. <laughs> I may. Happy bird fun time though, it probably should stay dead. Although, hang on, this is the flashlight. Can I? Okay. Cool. Trying to like... Not using the fireplace key because that will screw us. It really has been a while since I've done this scenario. So I know I have to get the mansion key, but I'm trying to remember where it is. <laughs> I, um, there was an app game I, um, worked on in college for, um, my, um, my senior project. It's on the App Store. It's called um, Blood to Ink. I did some puzzle design and I was um, I was in charge of like making like all of, like the story branches and organizing things. I did a lot of writing too, but um, it was a lot of the technical parts of it. And where the fuck is this mansion case? But, um, that was fun. There was another, um, game that was actually, I'm not gonna say it out of respect for those who did work on it, but, um, there was a game that went on Indiegogo that I worked on, and I had to sign NDA about, like, not wanting money off of it. Um, because I, I wasn't really asked to continue on with the project, and they still wanted to use my level design, but I'm like, I don't really give a shit. But, um... Up, oh, I took too long. Scissor Man wants me dead. Wamp wamp. The wonders are trying to remember what the hell to do. <laughs> um. Oh, I once applied to work on that game 
crush crush as a writer. Apparently my writing wasn't sexy enough. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely the camera. Like, why the hell can't I? Bye, Helen. Like, could it be downstairs by Tim? Where the fuck is this key? I love never remembering anything. Because it's literally, I just need the mansion key. Which is, of course. It did. It did. I am now realizing you're some... I am now realizing I don't recognize you from the username and you're somebody I definitely went to school with. Hold on. Wait, who are you? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh man, now I'm like in suspense. Um, you don't need to do stuff in Microsoft Paint. There's plenty of like, um, Fire Alpaca I know is a free art program that allows layers and tablet um, accessibility. Um, paint.net is a pretty good thing if you're um, used to working in paint. Um, I think Pink that's a really good transition point, Aiden, if you want to try, like, just having, like, layer access and also the ability to use plugins. Because I still, like, I use Fire Alpaca and Paint on that for, like, a lot of my shit. Because, like, having access, I don't know if Paint allows... Oh, man, I don't, I would paint hate to, um, everything seems normal. Oh, could it be in here? There was another fireplace. I'm dumb. It's fine, use what you like. Oh no, the batteries are dead. Do I, uh, do, can I now get it from the camera? I love this game. I'm just showing my disappointment. <laughs> So if you don't get the flashlight from chapter one, it really is just, um, you have to use the fireplace key and then you have to get like that, wor that, um, worst ending. Okay. 
give me your batteries. I think we have to take him out of something. <sighs> I'm just like trying to like brain blast. This gets hard to be like somewhere really obvious. Shaking in the distance. Or maybe just be going crazy. Oh, wait, holy shit, wait. I'm not mad. Everything is fine. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're moving forward. Okay, I'm not going for that door. We are... Do not grab the pliers that I kept from Chapter 1 for some reason. baby dramatic the candlestick encrusted with rust take the dry path when choosing among the three I wonder what this means I know what it means. A letter box is on the shelf. I wonder something inside. Time to find out. This puzzle, I oh no, I realized that this may have inspired something else. <laughs> Shit. Sheet copper, there's one missing. Put it in. I forgot, they don't let me put it in until... There's a fruit fly in the room. Just piss me off. I gotta look at the scratch marks on the floor before I put a book back. Librarians hate me. Gasp. We're not, this, we're gonna put a pin in this. We'll come back later for it. I know music started and everything, we're going back to it. Wait, you're not the door. I love unknown cryptic symbols. They're my friend.
Okay, let's keep on coming. We're still trucking. will not open. Oh. For sure the um place is gonna happen, but oh well. I'll be back. Tell your idea, Aiden. Oh, they didn't... I find it funny when they censor things in a rated M game. And it's not Conker's. Help me look. Actually, don't. I kind of want you to stay, like, five thousand feet away from her, my dude. Hey, is this your tape recorder? Does it have batteries? Can I steal your batteries? Give me your batteries. They're mine now. Double A, baby! A cloth sack. What is this? It's really heavy. Balls. I now have the lead balls. I'm a girl boss. I don't know. If there's a laboratory equipment, I would assume there. when you're being chased by something, there has to be some kind of chemical that you can just pour on a face. Like, those chemicals are just screaming, pour me on someone's face. At least that's what I think. Like, if someone's trying to kill you, it's totally okay to just put pure bromine on their face. If they get cancer, they should have accepted that risk. So, now we're back on track, folks. We have arson! If this puzzle becomes very familiar later, no, it doesn't shut up. A key! Cosmetic key! I love key. Let's go! Let's go. So following the advice of the um, delinquent 
drawing. We're gonna let our balls drop. Ball number two, how will you drop? Ball number three. Will your <laughs> will your balls be wet or will your balls be dry? Bump. Let's go, gang. I love Minecraft Tunnel. Someone was trying to get diamonds. Now, for those of you who were in here last week, who's ready for the musical number? Not sung by me, because there's no way I'm, me with a throat that's sore from talking all the time is singing on stream. But it's time for Resident Evil Barry to speak. I love these two. <laughs> Come on, musical number, start up. Little shit. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> He's a dual wielder for pistols. He's left her dead one cheek. Here we go. <laughs> what else? I love it! I love it! I love this game! So, um, I didn't- I got lazy last week, but, um, if we wait in this room long enough, 
the ghosts should actually appear again because their song is actually much longer than that. And um, I guess it's a good time to mention now that I now completely remember everything I'm supposed to do at this point and we are heading into Endgame. So, um, yeah, there's not much to the game left now. Um, next week, we are going to be starting Clock Tower, um, Ghost Head. Um, although that's its Japanese name. Its English name is Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within. But due to the fact that this game is called Clock Tower 2 in Japan, I just call Clock Tower Struggle Within Clock Tower Ghost Head. It also has some issues with um, everything being Americanized for some reason. Ah, oh, damn it, Scissor Man! Make yourself known before the fucking Ghost Kids. You ruined everything. Actually, I wonder something. Will the game let me? Okay, no. The game did not. Welcome back! Damn, they were right. These clocks can tower. Hmm. How do I want to deal with them now? I already did the pot. Oh, now I know what I want to do. No one, you suck. How could you abandon me? Just gotta. I just had a brain fart. <laughs> and I just realized I went a complete circle. Which is funny. But, um... Time to actually go where we need to go. Today is the perfect day to do what has to be done by me. Hang on. Going up here? Yes. Here. So, Aiden, I was curious, like, you said you had an idea and then you, like, disappeared, so. Now we can, now that we have batteries, we can use the flashlight. There's a note stuck inside. It's in Latin. Words to open the door. Maybe these words can be used to exercise Scissor Man. You now have the door spell. 
so I am pretty sure I have everything I need now. So, um, I'm going to make another hard save here because once again, I'm not that. This is like the. Yeah, okay. It's okay, we'll open it the fash the old fashioned way. We did it, gang. Yeah, it came undone. Yes. We know what we have to do. We did it. So here's some more of the diverging timelines. Time to curb stomp his ass. So in this scenario, Barton was Scissor Man. So there is a possibility in this timeline that all the stuff that happened at the office could have been Barton. And there's also a possibility for a supernatural explanation for this due to the stuff in Clock Tower 3. Also, yeah, most people can. Most people can just go into dark places and not kill people. It's so easy just to not kill people. She's involved in the case because she adopted a kid. <laughs> Buddy. I like the scene, but I like shitting on him. Barton sucks. <laughs> Get his ass. He's dead now. We've killed a man. GG. Now we are the killer. 
Bye bye. We solved the mystery. So it was important we found the spell because um, otherwise we'd have no evidence that there's actual like supernatural activity going on here. So there's still another thing we gotta do. And if we go down the fireplace, we won't make it in the room in time before Jennifer is um, killed. Okay. So we actually have to do, we're going back in here. I'm pretty sure from this point onward, Scissor Man won't spawn. But. Many fake books, but none stand out. But um, we still have a key that we haven't used. It was from the box. It is the cosmetic key. So in this room, actually, I want to check the statue. I want to see if I can actually get the bleed this time. Nope. Okay, I was apparently wrong on multiple accounts. <laughs> Button mash pro. Wow, girl boss. Let's, um, get booked, chump. Get phone booked. Get, um, Guinness Book of World Records. Oh, that was a hiding place. Oh, I thought we were going to push it on him. Oh, that sucks. Boo. But, um, now can I? Yeah, so there is a slim chance that, um, that Mother Mary statue will start to bleed. Which, I find things neat very easily. It came out. It's the map. All right, let's head into finale. Let's get our final ending and then um, wrap up the game and show the voice acting bloopers, which are here. Now. Yes, 
so we just gotta drain the fountain Drain gang. Time to find out who is Scissor Man for real. This time. But first, we gotta go through our usual Minecraft tunnels. I didn't play Minecraft until after college because my stalker from high school was really into it. And so it turned me off from the game and then my friends just break, oh we're gonna Minecraft the world. I'm like, okay, teach me Minecraft. I wanna play with you guys. You the killer. I would jump kick that kid off the cliff. I would lose my foot. <laughs> now that I think about it, there is a big pair of skizzers there. Oh, thank God, 30 centimeters. I don't know if I have to shoot because I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, God's coming in clutch. <laughs> Why is it pushing him away? Wait. That, that doesn't make sense. But hey, at least the same's good. I'm going to assume no one died in this path, which is the dream path. We did it. I could show the credits, but I did it last week. Because now I want to show you the super super special thing you get after you um you get the secrets tab after you get both of the best endings in the game. I showed a bit last week, but you get literally concept art.
So I all of like the preview images, room sketching. It's just like it's just cool to see. I think I think more things should do this. I think behind the wish behind the scenes stuff is super neat. I wish you didn't have to play this noise all the time. But you could really see like how everything was planned. But the important thing is sound test. Because it's not just different sounds. Because we we listen to the chase music. We have um Scissor Man when he's appearing from like a distance. We have the children musical. We have the credits theme. But the most important thing is this thing that says Gots Extra. Behold Beauty. Good to tell. Yeah, so it's just a little collection of the voice actor bloopers. It's just such a cute thing to get after like beating the game. And um with that, that's the end of basically the Jennifer arc of Clock Tower. Gonna Head back to the chilling room. Wait. Um, thanks everybody for coming. I am now going to have to go through the mystery to see who the Kazu show is, because I realize it's somebody I know from real life. Maybe Nico. Oh hi Murky Water! You just came here at the end after the game got beaten. <laughs> um the full stream is going to be archived on the channel. Um, uh, it's going to be unlisted, but I have a playlist for all the live streams, and I'm going to make a hypercut of um, this week's stream, last week's stream, and the week before's under just one thing about the Jennifer arc of Clock Tower. Next week is going to be the me being very mean about a video game, because I'll tell you, I love Clock Tower as a series. The next game is a steaming pile of shit. The game actively hates you for playing it, and I'm going to bully the shit out of it. I'm gonna see about getting maybe some fun guests in on it. Um, one thing to look forward to though is um, the original voice of Ghostface is um, a main character, and he's, I'm pretty sure, the only professional voice actor in the game. And he does great. Nobody else does. It's it's going to be an experience. But um, I really hope all of you have a good night. Avoid the scissor man. And I will see you all 